let's try to understand how to modify the data uh, in Dynamics 365 database outside of the uh, Dynamics 365 interface. Um, let's try to open something maybe in Excel and then we'll look at other options. Let's go to Accounts Payable and let's try to open uh, Vendors in Excel. Okay, so here you see the list of vendors. Uh, do you, you think we can open this uh, in Excel? Sounds like vent table. Let's try. Here is the option to open this in Excel, Microsoft Office, as you see. If you click here, you see the options. And these two options, this, un this is not a table. This is actually the entity associated with vendor. Uh, let's try this entity vendor version 2 click on this one uh, you will see the option uh, to either download it on or do something else if you click on download uh, you will see the option to let's say save open uh, let's try maybe um, just to save it first and then open okay and then let's enable editing Uh, here it's important uh, from the right side uh, you have the option if you do it first time you will see the option to uh, log in uh, using um, organization account so login using our organization account means that you your organization account is uh, associated with uh, something on Azure the uh, Active Directory on Azure not uh, let's say uh, the um, uh, local user local user account on your computer, for example. Okay, and, and this is a uh, wor uh, workstation uh, on the um, Hyper-V. Okay, so I already did this, and uh, you see the list of uh, vendors, uh, and, and and this list of vendors is actually through the uh, um, data entity. Uh, you see the full address and uh, the full address is outside of the vent table uh, in this version of Dynamics 365 now let's say okay um, we're gonna sort by um, uh, let's say um, by name and let's see uh, the vent ac acne supply I already um, did it acne supply 2 so ma basically I renamed the text field um, the vendor name let's make it 22 like this and then um, what we do we go back to the right side of it and we say publish okay so when I do publishing it updates it back in uh, the uh, Dynamics 365 database through uh, the, the entity which we opened in this case vendor version 2 Okay, let's go back to uh, 365 interface and let's take a look what we got from the vendors. You see, initially it was uh, Acme op Office Supply 2. If we refresh, you see that now it's 22. That's what we updated in Excel. However, again, um, think about that. Um, in Excel we opened not really the um, data table event table for example which uh, was um, uh, ready for opening in uh, Morphex uh, in older versions like 2012 but in fact we opened uh, the entity and entity is the view uh, which is um, based uh, which is um, pulling information from several tables associated with vendor including the vendor name uh, and address okay so la now let's think about if we can open this um, through just one table not uh, the entity how do we do this let me show you how okay let's go to visual studio and let's say we you see vent table if you right click on the vent table you see the uh, old way of old morphex 
now transfer to Visual Studio where you can open this in browser. In my case default browser is actually Chrome um, for this virtual machine and uh, I have uh, just one table open, not the entity. How do I know this? Take a look. In this URL you see a uh, table name equal event table. So this is the uh, re remnants of the old good um, Morphex which is now opening um, the table not in uh, native Morphex um, form but in instead in your default browser. Okay, so and this is all now um, th this is just event table as if you open this one you see that um, there is no field um, address so it's just pure good old uh, event table which is um, formalized I would say in uh, Dynamics 365 okay here you can do um, further modification like say if you try to open this again directly in Excel from here you would see that you cannot open uh, the in Excel the table but instead uh, it offers you the same options to open this uh, in data entity so but um, this is a real one so this is the table so you, c you can have it in browser and uh, you can modify the old uh, good way good as you would do in um, uh, visual in uh, 2012 or 2009 let's try to modify something here let's do um, blocked let's say um, all and let's um, save it okay so now this record is blocked let's go back to <coughs> all vendors here and you see that uh, it's now updated through the uh, table and the table is opened uh, in Chrome um, and this is just table that's how you can modify this now uh, in order to find the um, record because you may have like thousand lines in case of sales orders uh, you place the fill you use the filter here uh, and in the filter here you may say account number should begin with uh, now let's take a look what we got for the in case of acme it's uh, 1001 so let's go back to our filter and let's say is exactly 1001 and when we apply this we see only one record acme supply the same way as you would do, uh, do see in more effects uh, earlier versions of uh, AX like 2012 or 2009 so you see that we actually filter the uh, record and then um, some of the fields are open for us for modification like for example right now we did this let's just uh, deblock this let's say no save let's go back to um, dynamics interface uh, it, it, you see the vendor is on hold let's uh, update it and now we see that we actually updated so this field is now no vendor is not on hold anymore so so this is the old way of um, uh, actually editing records or opening records or filtering records directly in, in the table not uh, through the data entities 
So in the case of Excel, apparently uh, you got not the table but uh, data entity. So and this is uh, this is data entity vendor version two in our case. The same would be in Power BI. So let's take a look at the data sources in Power BI. So and this is uh, like a pure all data. Excel is also all data, but you, it's behind the scenes. In the in the case of Power BI, this is all data. You see that in the case of this report, we have, for example, uh, customer version two, uh, and this uh, this uh, this is data entity. How we know that this is data entity? Let me show you how. So this is kind of. Uh, uh, this is um, customer version 2 uh, open via all data and if we take off this then uh, just use the directly only data then we see the entities exposed through the uh, all data to be opened uh, in uh, for Power BI for example or directly in the um, uh, browser so let's um, Let's try to find something associated with uh, sales orders. Uh, sales order header version 2. Um, in, in the case of uh, Power BI, we open this one sales order header CDS. Um, so, so these are uh, entities um, available available for you. Uh, in Power BI, for example, so Excel, as we figured out, it opens uh, not really table, but it opens the um, um, data entity associated with the um, uh, main table. In this case, uh, with vendors, it opens data entity vendors version two. However, as we realized, we still can open table, and this would be uh, through Visual Studio. Uh, application object tree, we expand tables, find vent table, and then we can open this one in browser. It would be like this: open table browser. So this is the um, the way to still have uh, just uh, only single table opened, not the entity. Thank you for watching.